Shalom, all praises, glory, and honors to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai, Ba'asham Racha, HaKadosh, and double honors to the apostles, and to the elders of great millstone, and peace be unto the elect. This is James 5, precept, short and spicy, and to the point, and I'm your brother, Mark Kula, trying to great millstone, Jamaica camp. <coughs> With another quick lesson, you feel the potential electoral spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai. Now, I want to speak about... Uh, the Jamaican Prime Minister, Prime Minister Jonas, and uh, his push for a digital society. You know, which if you if you follow my channel, any any, any of my channels, so the GMS Five Precepts or GMS Five Precepts JA, you will find out that I'm I'm kind of focusing on what's happening in and around the Caribbean and Jamaica is pertaining to prophecy chiefly the prophecy of the mark of the beast and, and World War III you know I'm, I'm I'm kind of geared in you know locked in you know watching to see what is the next move to forecast it spiritually and now uh, we had a conversation you know because the brothers in Great Minnesota Jamaica we meet like like every Wednesdays and Sundays to get into the scriptures, you know, to read the prophecies, the law, everything, you know, you know, to check up on brothers if brothers are okay, if we are, you know. So tonight basically was discussing some issues of the plans and the agendas of the elites and, you know, it came up that we were speaking about and journalists and the government officials and certain videos that we circulating around man and um you know we, we, we can see that people they're waking up to this, this agenda of these elites and uh the elites basically they are playing the left right paradigm as in they are putting out real info mm -hmm. and misinfo you know they are they are using the government and they are also using mm -hmm. what you call it again um you call it again uh oh fuck uh public uh, uh fuck it's it's human psychology but you mm -hmm. know to to steer as a matter so like here one second you so like here about that you know my cousin was saying something to me so but anyway i Anyway, going back to what I was saying, which basically, you know, these elites, they're playing the left-right paradigm. They're, they're orchestrating these uprising, which is prophetic of the people among uh, these various corporations, our countries. And they're also using the leaders to bring forth their agenda. And when you look at it, it's to cause an all-out chaos to depopulate the earth. To get rid of the majority of who is living on the earth. Now, these men that are sitting in the seat of power, such as your government officials, they have something coming, you know, and it's, and it's, and it's very, very serious, man. Very, very serious, because the people, the people is going to be against them all out like literally all out you're gonna have the police force the military being dismantled you're gonna have some that are protecting them however there's gonna come total anarchy and chaos you know but something that we was reasoning you know is that the what should i say and you know i know you watch our videos man these men actually gave him uh what's the word an insight on the world that they're creating and they explained to him that look this is going to be a digital framework a digital society and if you're not on board then you're going to be left behind and that's the things that he always, he always been saying man you know we're going to be left behind we're going to be left behind and a part of him in he, he's saying to his to himself that this is the way I have to do this.
we got to get this done speedily and rapidly but another side of it is that he's stressed man because he knows that in doing this he's gonna come with some serious serious causes and effects so to him to some degree what he's doing for the is is for the greater good of the Jamaican people, so called, which are the Israelites, you know, chief city in Benjamin, the tribe of Benjamin. That, that's what he's saying that he's doing a greater good because he's seen these men as the beacon of light. You know, I might be speaking speaking a little bit much, but bear with me, Salakia. You know, I'm trying to get something mm -hmm. across. You know. Ah, ah, Salakia, beard me. Ah, anyway, what is what he is doing? He is seeing that. Look, if the Jamaican people ain't under on this grid that they are setting up, then we're gonna be caught out in the cold. And he shows that this man lacks faith, man. He shows where his power lies. You know? He shows where his trust is. You know? I'm gonna get some scriptures, man, in the book of. Okay. Yeah, bear with me. Bear with me, Baba Kosha. Oh, ooh, this is name that fell through the lattice. Ah, uh, Hold on. Be with me one second. All right. All right. Second Kings. Chapter 1 verse 1 it says then Moab rebelled against Israel after the death of Ahab and Ahaziah, Ahaziah fell down through the lattice in his upper chamber that was in Samaria and was sick and he sent messengers and said unto them go inquire of Baalzebub the god of Ekron whether I shall recover of this disease but the angel of the Lord Yahweh said to Elijah the Tishbite arise go up to meet the messengers of the king of Samaria and said unto them, it is it is not because there is not a God in Israel that he go to inquire of Baalzebub the God of Ekron now therefore thus say the Lord thou shall not come down from that bed and which thou art gone up and shall surely die and Elijah departed so that's the same sentiment that the Lord have towards you leaders man. Is it because the heavenly father is not in Israel man? Didn't the Lord send forth his prophets to warn you people of his coming destruction? Why is it that you leaders continue, yeah, continue to trust in this so-called white man to the team yeah see in Isaiah 9 verse 16 for the leaders of these people cause them to err and they that are led of them are destroyed man just like that and you have a lot of people that's, that's following you blind leaders man no uh, you Andrew Wallace and all of you you don't really have the full scope on what this devil is trying to do because even you yourself and your family is going to be cut out of the pie because all the agendas that you are pushing for them is for you basically to get the crumbs at master's table however that, that's not going to be so man it's not going to be so why because According to the agenda that you're pushing for, Vision 2030, there's gonna be the poor and the rich. And the poor is gonna be a small number. 
And the rich gonna be a really, really small number, and that's them. They won't be no middle class. You won't own your houses. You won't own any car. Car. You won't any. You won't own anything. It's gonna all be owned, governed, and operate by the state. The state not being the government of Jamaica or the government of Trinidad. No. It's gonna be a one world government and a lot of people's gonna die. That's the plan of these men, that's the plans of the elites. And you leaders you're under pressure, yeah. Like you are Jonas, you're under you're under serious pressure. You know why? Your hair is starting to change, man. Just like Barack Obama. Baron Samidi. <laughs> Your hair is starting to change. You're under total pressure to bring forth this agenda because you have to do it. Because you see not the counsel of the Lord. And when you go to the scripture in the book of Isaiah, let's let's get that into the book of it's Isaiah. What's it? This Isaiah 30. Hold on. Isaiah 30 verse 1 it says, Woe! To the rebellious children say the Lord that take counsel but not of me and that cover with a covering but not of my spirit that they may have sin to sin and and in doing so you know you're covering with a different spirit you're covering with what these men present to you this new world order you know vaccinating our people and I'm gonna play that video you know, put the putting the vaccine upon our people. Um, you know, the the the, the we call it the mask. Also, the social distancing. That's not of the Lord, man. That's of the devil, Isa Edom. And you know, funny. The scriptures do, do speak about these things and we've been speaking about these things and you still have people that refuse to hear so you, you rightly rightly deserve what's coming man so so these men cover the covering but not of the lord spirit and they had they are having sin unto sin verse 2 says that walk to go down into egypt and i've not asked at my mouth because if when andrew will go to the u.n meeting and say oh, we need this digital society and being a bitch being a cunt man basically yes you, you you go you, you strengthen yourself in the strength of fear man he says that walk to go down into egypt and have not asked at my mouth oh oh how oh, would you know the, the, the answers you know the answers by watching these videos man because our come consult us in person, you know where we are. All of you know where we are standing, prophesying. In your election campaigns, you always drive past us, seeing us in our garments, standing, uh, preaching, uh, prophesying. <laughs> you know, you, you, you watch, you've been watching the videos, man. It says, to strengthen themselves in the strength of fear and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore shall the strength of fear be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. So, when you think that you're doing good for the people of Jamaica, guess what? The people of Jamaica is rising up against you politicians, man. And I'm going to show you that. You know? But I think I'm going to close it there for memory, memory purpose. And I'm going to upload it with this video here on another sitting. Shalom.